So Walking Tree is a, it's kind of a fun little label. It's a name, the, tr the name Walking Tree comes from an oak tree, an old oak tree that was growing on the property, the original vineyard property, for the grapes we were getting our, uh, our walking tree from. And we get a lot of rain all of the three or four months out of the year, typically this part of the country on the north coast of California. And so much so that sometimes you're seeing trees up being uprooted when we get too much rain at the same time. This tree, does, though, had a stronger root system than that. It wasn't falling over, but it was kind of slowly, ball and all, slowly migrating down the hill under these big storms. So it was kind of skiing down the hill, if you can picture a big oak tree doing that. So kind of a fun little story. Right now, what we're excited about is it's always going to be from Alexander Valley. I think Alexander Valley is one of the best growing areas for Cabernet in California. And I want to give some of my friends in Napa a run for their money with, with the Alexander Valley food I'm making. So Alexander Valley is just about 30 miles north of us from where we're standing now. And it's just a great little place for for growing Cabernet and some Cabernet that's just really beautifully styled. So what I like about the first wine we put in the bottle for uh, Alexander Valley Cab for Walking Tree was it's just really classic Alexander Valley fruit. To me that is just really nicely structured like you expect a cab to be. Big shoulders, broad shoulders, uh, really dark fruit, integrated fruit, uh, you know, balanced by a nice kiss of oak. But I think it's uh, what sets it apart from the competition in Napa is, to me, these are big wines from Alexander Valley, but they're just so they show beautiful restraint. So it's they're wines that they're going to age for 10, 15 years easily, but they're wines that you can really enjoy today uh, for a big Napa for a big cab from Alexander Valley. I'm really proud of this first this first vintage that I've had a hand in. Uh, Maybe the Queen of Sauvignon Blanc. I think it's too delicate of a white wine to be king of. Uh, and it's uh, something that my family, when we started our winery, we thought we were going to make Cabernet, but the soils were meant for Sauvignon Blanc. And that's what we specialized in. It was 80% of our production. And the style I like to make, which I think I've achieved with this one, is a style that's got a wide range of a fruit character, which is something that Sauvignon Blanc, the grape, gives you. Uh, from all the way from a, an herbal, slightly grassy character that we want a little bit of to a tropical fruit, citrus character, guava on the other end. And we're trying to get as much of that in, showing up in the wine as possible. Coupled with a good crisp acidity, I think it gives us a wine that uh, you're going to enjoy by itself. You're going to enjoy some food. It's just, it's just a fun wine to make uh, and my favorite wine to have. Uh, it's... Um, so, anyways, this is the first vintage for Geyser Peak that, we're, that I've made, the 2019. It's uh, the core of our Geyser Peak California series. We make a Chardonnay Cabernet, and uh, so I think you're going to enjoy it.